right, Chris and I are already talking about food, and I'm hungry, so I'm just going to let him take it away and get to the forecast, so maybe I can grab a snack. Well, before we do that, though, she's uh, saying, Chris, hey, help me out here. I'm going on a trip in March, you know, requiring the beach here. And she said, just keep me on track. And I tried to, and she just, she keeps telling me bad things. She's like, well, I had Froyo the other day, and I it's put up. <laughs> frozen yogurt. It's healthier. She, she went out the other day. I'm trying, folks. I'm really, and then when I tell her, she just gets upset with me. Just like you're probably going to be upset with me when we get into this yes. forecast, because yes. not only is the cold air invading the state this weekend, but maybe the chance for a few snowflakes as well. So let's get into it. Live pinpoint Doppler as we scan the skies here across eastern Kentucky. Nice and dry to kick off this Friday morning, but that won't stay that way because we're going to see some rain chances move in later on this morning into the afternoon hours. Now, temperature is pretty cold and it's more concentrated across far southeastern Kentucky. Temperature readings in the low, even mid 30s for some areas, 36 degrees and wise. Otherwise, we're seeing those low to mid 40s across much of central and eastern Kentucky. And as you get the kids ready early on, be sure to bundle them up. Temperatures around 40 degrees, but pack that umbrella in her backpack for later on today because rain chances will ramp up throughout this afternoon into the evening hours. And look at those temperatures. Unseasonably mild for this time of year is high soar into the low even mid 50s. But here's a look at the big picture. Latest satellite and radar imagery looping over the past six hours. This is a national viewpoint right here. We have a low pressure system spinning across Chicago along with its attendant cold front. That's going to be the same cold front that marches through the state of the Commonwealth through tonight and into early Saturday morning along with this system off towards the Gulf Coast. Low pressure system just east of New Orleans there and this is all going to track towards the north and east and this system this cold front is going to push off towards the east and that's going to bring us our rain chances as we do head into the next several hours a little bit closer to home showing plenty of cloud cover streaming in from the southwest along with a few of those scattered showers already making their way into far western kentucky and future view shows this cold front slicing through the state as wet into this afternoon into the evening hours along with those showers and then the cold front will eventually push through eastern kentucky overnight and into early saturday morning and notice some of the blue showing up across central and eastern parts of the state Yes, some snow showers possible as we head into the overnight hours and into your early Saturday morning. Not expecting much in the way of accumulation, but don't be surprised if you see a few snowflakes flying around. Now, cold air settles in for Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures in the mid-30s, so much cooler than those low to mid-50s, what we've had over the past couple of days. But it gets even colder as we head into the latter part of your weekend and into early next week. And that's because Arctic air is going to settle in from the northwest, eventually arriving on Kentucky's doorstep into early next week, along with the chance for a few of those snow showers once again Sunday and into early Monday morning. And then temperatures moderate back into the 30s, eventually low 40s by next midweek. But look at these temperatures, 21 degrees for a high Monday afternoon. Yes, that's correct. Overnight low right there. 9 degrees, single digits, yes, possible across eastern Kentucky and not much warmer into Tuesday. Upper 20s for highs and eventually back into the mid-30s and low 40s by next midweek.